All right, we need to do a metagame discussion. I'm still a little bit raspy, so please work with me on this. But we need to talk about what shifted in the metagame based on YCS Chicago, because the event was pretty fucking crazy. Uh, we were here, at least I was, and we're like way up here now as for what actually happened. I'm still a little bit mind broken. <sighs> probably the best way to say that, um, staying PG friendly. But let's dig on into this discussion about what the hell is going on in the top tier one section of Yu-Gi-Oh, cause yikes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off with Azathoth Turbo decks. Now this is going to encompass also the Cali King Yuga decks. If your deck can produce Azathoth, on the opponent's turn, whether or not you're trying to do what Ed was doing um, and some of the other crazy things out there, then you are good. We have reached a point in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh now that we can deny our opponent a turn. Well, let me tell you just how fun that actually is. And, and by denying them a turn, okay, so you produce your board full of dangers. You go, oh, hey, I'm going to attack deck, make Boral Sword attack directly, all right? This is all possible, this of our boy Boral Sword. I wouldn't be shocked if we actually could get Boral Sword banned at this point. It's a dumb thing to say that, but because we have the PK quick play rank up spellcraft, we have a means to deny our opponent. As the thought is okay on our turn, as the thought on our opponent's turn, and those are 500 IQ plays. But that is the shit that is going to get these cards banned. Kelly King Yuga? Absolutely. Another, and it's all because of the, once again, rank up quick play spell card. You know, I saw somebody post earlier that Rusty Bird should have been a uh, prize card change my mind. I was like, oh no. It begins. But, yes. Now, because we can deny the opponent the chance to even play the game by negating their own effects through an effect that doesn't even activate, technically, so you can't even veil it. Thank you, fucking card text. You know, it's like Castor and Pollux. If you could bail with them, they'd be great. But because it puts condition on the field, great, right? So, this is how our meta's evolved. I, I really think we need to do something about this. But, for the most part, it's even worse. At least you can take your turn now and do nothing. As opposed to not getting a turn beforehand. Great, right? Next up on our list is... We still have to talk about Thunder Dragons. Now... Thunder Dragons did get second at the YCS. Now, there are two sides of the Thunder Dragon argument here. One, pure Thunder Dragons, they're great for a local slash regional level. And when I say that, you are might not be lucky enough to have the Danger Core at the moment. And that's understandable. If you spend all your money on Thunder Dragons and you gotta go drop another $500 on a core, I think it's, uh, as of yesterday, I think the pricing for the core was about $535 for, like, all of the good dangers, give or take a little bit, uh, because of variance. But, for the most part, people were like, oh yeah, Pure can still get you there, and it, it can. And I'm not gonna take anything away from Pure Thunder Dragons, it, it can still do things, but what... You kind of go from here with pure, and then you kind of raise the ceiling up to here with danger, just because it it adds a new spin on what you can do. Having more plays is absolutely what you want. Anytime that you can just kind of add another level of spice into the deck, that's great. That's kind of why we seen everybody this weekend that was kind of trying to play Thunder Dragons was just pushing more towards the danger side. Now, obviously, Chaos Monsters aside and Guard Dragons, that's that's a paradigm for another video because there are really cute plays that you can do with the Guard Dragon engine in Thunder Dragons. You have three variants. You have, like, the Chaos, you have the Pure, and I guess Danger is also kind of in there with the Chaos one. It just kind of depends. And then, you know, like, Guard Dragons, they all, they all kind of blend together depending how you're looking at it. But you've got a lot of different options available to you as a Thunder Dragon player. A lot more than I think you have had in previous formats. So, there's that. Now, I want to talk about the world OTK over here. Much like Azathoth Turbo decks, this deck is a sister. It is using Arcana Force, the world, as a means to an end. So you basically, you, you can still 
I believe you can still produce as a thought in the deck. All right, you're still kind of an as a thought deck, but you're going to abuse the danger engine as infinite draw power. You're going to clear through it, and you're going to summon a bunch of monsters. Then you're going to drop the world on your opponent, and then you're going to have light barrier on the field, and you're going to, oh, skip your opponent's turn and attack for game. All right, it's exactly what you want to do. You're basically denying your opponent the chance, but actually this time you're just doing it through a card effect. At this point in time, in order to stop all these OTKs and things we've got running around right now, we really need to check the danger engine. Now, I'm going to continue to say this for a little while. The danger engine was a mistake. Oh, absolutely it was. You know, if you've got decks like this running around, these decks that are denying our opponent. I guess it was a matter of time until we looked at Azathoth, and a matter of time until we explored things like the world, these things. Yes, there are better options than the world. We get it. It's more cheeky than anything. So just kind of be aware that, yes, danger has many faces. That's a strange thing to say, I know. But now that the world is now a viable deck, man, I'm so angry that he missed top cut like it would have been great to have seen the world otk arcana force in the year 2019 actually do something i think a lot of people would have just been like oh what's going on like the card already got bought out the card is already rising in price but cheekiness is cheekiness i guess so next up we have sky striker so sky striker is in an interesting position at the moment everybody and their mother decided for this deck excuse me, main decked for this deck this weekend, because um, there were Fantamazes everywhere. For those of you that are Sky Striker players and you don't know what the fuck Fantamaze does, you're living under a rock, and I salute you. You guys are doing God's work out here. But Fantamaze does not allow you to Widow Anchor your opponent's cards. The only way that your deck is able to win is by resolving Widow Anchors. You can change my mind all you want, or try. I Fantamaze is death. The Sky Striker. Getting to sculpt the hand, getting the ability to get to those resources. Now, just because Fanamaze exists doesn't mean that Sky Striker players aren't trying. All right? Now, there's been a debate going first or going second. Now, I did see, I like the top 16 list where he was citing limit removals. The cheeky factor is in effect. That is, that is really cool. I like that. Did a lot of work. Now, on the flip side of that equation, evenly matched is a hell of a card. Taking away resources from your opponent is always great. Having access to Prankatops in the main deck, also great. But that debate, there is no solidified build after this event. I've seen arguments for both first and second. I do think that first is better, but I do we're past the point of triple multi-roll now. We're we're back to two multi-roll being the standard. Uh, the format just kind of shifted on us. It's We don't want to clog multi-rolls at this point. Uh, Hercules' base is being pushed back into the side at this point. Like, Sky Striker trends, they evolve with the metagame, and we really have to keep up with these things. So, yes, really crazy getting the chance to actually see the change in the Sky Striker format. Now, Altergeist also were massively played for this weekend. I've seen so many people that were playing Red Reboot in the main deck, whether or not it was for Guru Control or for Altergeist, but Altergeist got sent all the way back to the corner, and it was beautiful. I was so happy to see that the deck was checked. Now, this format does have a lot of diversity in it. Oh, it's great. But I think there's a lot more cancer brewing in this format than we've ever actually seen before. You know, at least with Rongo Bongo, you could play the game. <laughs> Kudos, guys. We lost Rongo and we gained as a thought. We've gone worse. All right. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. You'll soon to see as a thought on the ban list. So, but Altergeist, for whatever reason, oh yeah, the minigame shifted horribly. Infinite as a thought decks. Altergeist is a trap deck. It takes time for it to want to do its thing, and by its time, it, it's it's got to take a turn to gather its resources. Deck is still good. Absolutely it is. We just shifted out of a point that, 
it's it's not so good anymore. That doesn't mean that you should stop playing the deck. It just means that we need to wait for people to evolve the deck, kind of see where it's going. Guru Control is a little bit better version of Altergeist at the moment, and that's, that's saying a lot because of just how... We've layered on a whole nother pile, like, we were here, last format, we're like up here now with this one. We've automatically gone to worse. And it's crazy to see that Ultra Guys got power crept. Thank you, Dangers. You're excellent. So, all I gotta say for this video, Danger cards are broken. Right, guys? As a thought, ban worthy. <laughs> yeah, but it's not gonna happen. They'll ban the rank up quick play spell card first before that happens. So guys, please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think about this discussion. Big yikes. For a minute again. Big yikes. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.